हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हियर इज कौशल्या राज पुरोहित योर इंग्लिश टीचर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर सिक्स एग्जेक्टिव एज वी ऑल नो एग्जेक्टिव मॉडिफाई अ नाउन और अ प्रोनाउन दे आर रिटर्न बिफोर अ नाउन और आफ्टर द वर्ब राइट सो वी हैव बीन लर्निंग एग्जेक्टिव from our lower classes we know that adjective modifies or describes a noun or a pronoun and an adjective is always written before a noun and after the verb right so this help us to identify the adjective in the sentence right now today we are going to see kinds of adjectives adjective of quality adjectives of quality tell the kind or a class of a person or thing they answer the question what kind right so adjective of quality describes the person or tells us about the quality of that that person what kind of person is he or what kind of thing it is right so this adjective answer the question what kind the examples are she gave me a sharp look so what kind of look she gave me sharp so sharp is my adjective of quality once there used to be an old bungalow what kind of bungalow there used to be old okay so old is also an adjective of quality so adjective of quality tell the kind or a class of person or thing the next type of adjective is demonstrative adjectives demonstrative adjectives point out to the person or the things which are being referred to right so demonstrative adjective particularly points out about the person or a thing which the sentence is talking about right for example this pen is red those are juicy apples those are juicy apples on that tree now here this and that are demonstrative adjectives we should not get confused between demonstrative pronouns and demonstrative adjective because we can identify demonstrative adjective by looking at the noun demonstrative adjective is always followed by a noun like this pen that tree right so this will be helping us to identify the demonstrative adjective okay so demonstrative adjective point out to the person or the things which are being referred to like this pen that tree the next type of adjective is interrogative adjective interrogative adjectives are placed before nouns to ask questions right so these adjectives are always used to ask question like whose bag is this which house is yours now here whose and which are interrogative adjectives as they are used to ask question but we can identify or we can find the difference between interrogative pronoun and interrogative adjective by looking at the noun because interrogative adjectives are always followed by a noun like whose bag bag and which house house so we should be not confusing between we should not get confused between interrogative pronouns and interrogative adjectives both of them are used to ask questions but we should be remembering that interrogative adjectives are always followed by a noun got it okay so let us see the next adjective possessive adjective possessive adjectives are used with the nouns to show belonging or possessions right so these adjectives are used to show the belonging or possession or ownership for example this is my house it is our duty to keep our surrounding clean now here my and our are used or as possessive adjective and we can identify them as they are always followed by a noun my house our duty 
my car right so possessive adjective are also followed by noun right the next type of adjective is adjective of quantity now what is adjective of quantity adjectives of quantity answer the question how much so it tell us the quantity of the thing right or the number of persons right for example there was much noise in the school how much noise was there in the school much so much is the adjective of quantity we have stored enough food to last us for a month now how much food we have stored enough food so enough is the adjective of quantity so adjective of quantity answer the question how much how much or what is the quantity of the thing or item okay the next type of adjective is adjective of number adjective of number answer the question how many suppose i have apples so i have five apples right or i stood first in the class so it tells us the number of the thing or an object so adjective of number answer the question how many for example there are some student in the room so how many students are there in the room some ragini stood first in the class so here the word first tell us the number she got in the class as she stood first so it is also adjective of number i have five pen in my box so how many pens i have five so five is also an adjective of number adjective of number answer the question how many the next type of adjective is distributive adjective distributive adjectives point out a particular noun or pronoun in order to modify it each either every neither are distributive adjectives so distributive adjectives point out to a particular noun or pronoun in order to describe it right to modify it every student is not intelligent each boy in the class got good marks in the exam so here every and each are the examples of distributive adjectives and you can see in the example that every and each are also followed by a noun a student and boy respectively got it beta so distributive adjectives are the point point out to a particular noun in order to modify or describe it and the examples of distributive adjectives are each either every neither the next type of adjective is indefinite adjective indefinite adjectives point out non specific items right so wh whose number is not known or which is not specific so such adjectives are used to specify the quantity or object which is non specific which is not known any few many etc are indefinite adjectives example many dresses are kept in the wardrobe now here many shows us that there are number of dresses but the quantity of that dresses is not known right so many dresses are kept in the wardrobe and here also many is followed by a noun dresses right so indefinite adjectives are the adjectives which point out non specific terms the terms which we don't know the quantity when the quantity is unknown then indefinite adjectives are used now again the participles can be also used as adjectives participle can also be used as adjective to describe nouns some participles ending in e by ed or some present participles ending with ing can also be used as adjective right so pa past participles and present participles are also sometimes used as an adjective let us see an example ramesh was very excited in his birthday party an exciting event took place in the life of ramesh 
so here excited and exciting both are used as adjectives right so i hope you have understood the different kinds of adjectives okay so this is all for today thank you